this is Empire with Capital Chaos here at Ace of Spades, and I am with Joe and Lee of Born of Osiris. How are you guys doing today? Very, very good. And we are very excited to have you here in Sacramento. Are you excited to play? Uh, very excited to be here. Uh, love this venue, so I'm stoked. Right. California in general. How's the tour been so far? Great. This is like, I think we have like four shows left, and, um, and it's California, like I said, so we're very excited. It's nice weather. You know, Midwest was kind of cold, and mm -hmm. even though that's where we're from. But um, yeah, it's awesome to be here. There's always great shows. You know, our record label always comes out. We have lots of friends in California, so yes. it's fun. All right, so we'll talk a little bit about your last album, which was The Discovery. Are you guys in the process of working on anything new, or what can we expect? Um, yeah, we're going to be recording a new album soon, um, after Christmas. Um, and we're just going to, you know, be writing all through then, uh, mm -hmm. doing a lot of vocal writing and uh, just getting everything fine-tuned. Like we have a lot of uh, material right now, uh, just a lot of like meat and potatoes, so we gotta put some uh, paprika on it and some, <laughs> some salt and pepper and stuff, you know. All about the seasonings. So what can we expect from this album? Is it gonna be kind of along the same lines of what you've done previously, or are you gonna integrate maybe something different? Um, I guess it maybe most compared to the last record, because I think it all came together because the fact that we lived in the same house, which I know I've said before many times, but that's what it is, <laughs> and we still live together in a new house, and uh, so I think the focus that that brings to our band and like the records and everything is uh, is crucial. So I think it'll be along the same lines. We're definitely focusing a lot more on structure. Um, I think that uh, they they get a lot more time to do the vocal stuff too as well. I think the last time it was like they got rushed at the end, which they mm -hmm. completely did so amazing. I love the vocals on our last record the most. And so I just think this time we have the most time, we're the most prepared, and it's just going to come together the best. Okay. So are you going to do any type of collaborating with anyone as far as production or song-wise in the industry? Um, no, I mean, we've talked about it. Uh, maybe like mentioning like Maddie Mullins or something, but that's just like stuff talking. But mm -hmm. Who knows? Well, uh, we're always open for stuff, so we'll see what happens. Got to stay tuned to see. Yeah. What, what can we expect from Born of Osiris in 2013? Um, we're going to go to some cool places we haven't gone before. I think Australia's um, on the list. Uh, maybe Japan and, and places like that in the same run. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing a cool European tour that uh, will be announced soon. Um, the new record, we're going to do, hopefully do you know, a good summer tour. There's a lot to expect. You can probably expect more from us in 2013 than you've seen from us this year. Awesome. I guess. Awesome. Well, I did have a lot of fans write in, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the video, uh, Follow the Signs, the intro. Very kind of translucent, somewhat spiritual. Can you just explain maybe what the thought process was behind it, or what does that song mean? Um... Follow the signs, I guess, uh, Andrew Pulaski, he's the director of that video from uh, New York, a good friend of ours, and I think it was kind of, uh, it was something that he took out of the song, it wasn't necessarily like us, like he wrote the whole script about like the entities and the beings coming down and stuff, so, um, I don't know, I guess it's just like, for us that song is just like, you know, Follow what you got to do and paying attention yeah. to the science. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, it's it's pretty deep. It's pretty deep. I had a fan, Hayden. He wanted to know what your guys' favorite sharks were. Sharks. Damn. <laughs> uh, I want to go hammerhead. Hammerhead. It's my vote. All right. What about you? I'd say great white. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Do, are you guys animal activists? Do you watch those shows? Um, that he is more. He has a dog. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a dog with like my parents, but yeah. All right, so what are some of your favorite TV shows when you're not touring? What are you, what are you guys into entertainment-wise? <laughs> to be honest, on tour, I'm, I'm still keeping up. Right yeah. now, I'm, I'm watching, we're both watching Dexter and okay. um, Sons of Anarchy I like a lot. I um, love Sons of Anarchy. You know that they do some of their filming here in Sacramento. It's pretty rad, yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I would love to see some of that. I have a Harley, so it's like, it interests me a lot. Uh, <laughs> what kind of Harley do you have? Um, it's a 2010 um, 883N, so it's like a blacked out version of the, mm -hmm. that Sportster model. What are some of your pl favorite places to ride? I seriously just bought it like a month before we left for this tour. <laughs> oh, so it's just and sitting, waiting for you. Seriously <laughs> sitting in the garage, yeah. <laughs> I've gone to the grocery store a few times. <laughs> <laughs> so have you made any big purchases since you've been in your band? No, but our vocalist Ronnie has bought a Harley as well. Uh -huh. So now it's like super tempting because yes. they're, you know, cruising around. I'm like, I kind of want to get a dirt bike though so I can go off-roading. That would be So fun. I've been looking at like... Yeah, that would be fun. Like an enduro, so like a KTM or something, but... Mm -hmm. Just looking right now, I gotta I gotta research it, you know, before. I
That's cool. That's cool. So what other TV shows are you guys into? Video games? Adventure Time. I love Adventure yeah. Time. Just got into that. Our guitar player, <laughs> Lee Evans, he gave me all the seasons and it's just like, that show makes me feel so goofy. Like, right? I love it. It's just like... It brings you back to when you were a kid. Yeah. And yeah. it's just like, it's made for kids, but I don't know why. <laughs> it's like, it should be on Adult Swim, not on... Yeah. You can't even tell what the characters are. It's like, what is that? It like, really gets me about the way they do the facial expressions the in that show too. and the voice mm -hmm. and like, even the subject of like, the show or like, you know, the plots in, in each episode, mm -hmm. but just like the faces it's so simple it's like simple art but it's like really done well i think like I'm, I'm blown away by that so if they hit you up to do a theme song you would totally do it oh my gosh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that would be rad what 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 product is your favorite what would you totally endorse some product that you absolutely love and you would tell everybody about it um like for me it's top ramen oh sriracha Nice. Yeah, All we right. go through bottles and bottles of that at home. Really? But yeah, so. All right, what about you? What can you not live without that you would just tell the world about? I think whiskey on tour would be one. <laughs> what kind of whiskey, though? Are you a whiskineer? No, well, we're not like crazy picky. We, obviously, we would, you know, we like, you know, the Jameson and stuff, but mm -hmm. you could give us a bottle of Evan Williams and we'll be super excited. <laughs> <laughs> Evan Williams is nice. No Jim Beam. That's like Jack's sturdy cousin. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Jim, Jim is a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> we hang out with Jim every now and then. <laughs> So, yeah. All right, cool. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for meeting with Capital Chaos. I'm just going to give you the mic, and if you'd like to go ahead and speak to your fans, perhaps people that haven't listened to your music or have, just let them know what's going on with you. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much pressure. Yeah. We have a new album coming out next yeah, year. That's that's spice. what it is. Get ready for the spiciness. Sriracha. Sriracha. It's going to be <laughs> Born of Osiris, the Sriracha of 2013. Spicy.